We are using the Xilinx Vertex 7 development board to move 320 gigabits per second of data using a pair of FMCs. Here's how it's done. I am John McCaskill with Faster Technology, a Xilinx Alliance partner and authorized training provider. The FMC, or FPGA Mezzanine Card Standard, is also known as VITA 57. It is a powerful and flexible form factor that is designed to take advantage of FPGA's capabilities and their flexibility. Xilinx is supporting the FMC standard for use on their targeted design platforms, and I would like to show you how we have taken advantage of the FMC standard for our projects. We created this reference design to demonstrate the capability of our S28 FMC to deliver 40 gigabits per second of bidirectional serial bandwidth over each of its two QSFP ports. And we put two of these FMCs on a Xilinx Vertex 7 development card to deliver a total of 320 gigabits per second of bandwidth. This design includes a pair of Chipscope Pro iBERT cores or the integrated bit error rate tester, one for each FMC. It also includes a Xilinx EDK subsystem to allow us to use embedded software on a MicroBlaze processor to control the programmable oscillators on our FMCs over a pair of I2C buses to set the reference frequencies for the multi-gigabit transceivers used in this design. When the FPGA is configured, the embedded processor boots and automatically configures the oscillators for us. We then start Chipscope Pro. It queries the FPGA over the JTAG cable and automatically finds the two iBERT cores we instantiated in the design, as well as the system monitor core, which is always present and available to Chipscope Pro. Looking at this first iBERT console, we can see that all eight lanes are locked, that we are running a tough data pattern, a 31-bit pseudo-random bit sequence, and it has been running for a while, moving a substantial amount of data through the MGTs with no errors. iBERT automatically calculates the bit error ratio for us, and we can see that it is excellent. Switching to the second iBERT console, we can see that all eight of its lanes have also locked and are performing flawlessly. It is also using a tough data pattern, has moved a substantial amount of data without error, and also has an excellent bit error ratio. Thank you for watching this demonstration, and be sure to check out our other videos for both the VC707 and the KC705 using several of our FMCs, as well as more in-depth tutorials on how to use the tools and IP cores that we have used for our designs.